Are you on the hunt for the ultimate checkpoint for cartoon-styled images or animations? Our journey begins with an in-depth examination of three pivotal checkpoints that infuse vitality into cartoons. But that's not the end of it. We'll assess and compare these checkpoints using an XYZ plot, a useful tool designed to assist you in identifying which one aligns best with your creative vision. Prepare for an immersive exploration into the vibrant world of cartoon-styled checkpoints. Let's kick things off. Welcome to the whimsical wonders of Toon Yu, our first checkpoint on this cartoon adventure. Say goodbye to realism and embrace the silly, stylish, and downright cute essence of Toon Yu. Toon Yu, the epitome of cartoonish charm, flips the script on traditional portraiture. This checkpoint doesn't aim for hyper-realism. Instead, it thrives on capturing the essence of fun and playfulness. It's all about vibrant expressions, exaggerated features, and an overall cartoonish vibe. In general, each checkpoint offers specific recommendations to achieve the best results, and the Toon Yu checkpoint is no different. You can find these optimal settings on the civit.ai website, and as always, we'll include the links in the description. Let's navigate back to the stable diffusion UI and make adjustments to the preferred settings for the Toon Yu checkpoint. Ensure that you have downloaded the checkpoint and selected it. For the recommended sampling method, they advise using DPM++ 2M Keras, and for the sampling steps, opt for 30 or higher. As for the upscaler, Hires Fix, they suggest using the settings RESR GAN 4X plus Anime 6B. Set the higher steps to 14, the denoising strength to 0.35, and ensure an upscale factor of at least 1.5. Now formulate both a positive prompt and a negative prompt, then click on the Generate button. Now let's take a look at what we've just generated using the impressive Two New Checkpoint. If the image you've produced doesn't meet your expectations, especially regarding the face or eyes, consider utilizing the Add Detailer extension. If it's not installed, you can find a video tutorial in the top corner or navigate to the GitHub page. The link is provided in the description. Get ready to explore the vibrant realm of Cartoonish, our second stop on this animated escapade. With its lively expressions, playful exaggerations, and an overall cartoon magic, Let's have a blast checking out some fantastic examples together, shall we? Cartoonish doesn't play by the rules of realism. It's all about injecting joy and playfulness into every frame. Feel free to explore this checkpoint on your own. The link is provided in the description. Brace yourself for a thrilling adventure into the enchanting universe of Disney Pixar, our third and final destination on this animated cartoon journey. Bid adieu to the serious tones and let's plunge into the lively, sophisticated, and utterly captivating world of Disney Pixar. Join me in unlocking the magic of the 3D cartoon look, where each scene becomes a canvas for creativity, inviting you to explore a delightful fusion of imagination and artistry. This marks the conclusion of our exploration into all three checkpoints. Now, which one captured your preference? Let's do a quick comparison with an XYZ plot to determine which is your favorite. First, launch the user interface for stable diffusion. Next, go to the text to image tab and scroll down to access the script selection options. If you're unfamiliar with using the XYZ plot scripts, we've provided a dedicated written tutorial for this script, which can be found in the description. As for the settings, let's analyze the three cartoon checkpoints. For the X type, choose checkpoint name, and for the X values, select the three cartoon checkpoints. For the Y type, opt for Sampler to compare sampling methods. Although most checkpoints come with recommended settings, it's beneficial to compare these configurations. Currently, keep the Z type empty, but feel free to explore additional settings if you'd like. To ensure a more accurate comparison, we will leverage ControlNet along with an initial image to replicate the same pose in our final comparison output, facilitated by the Open Pose type, this method simplifies the process of distinguishing the differences among the various cartoon checkpoints. Return to the top, formulate both a prompt and a negative prompt. Set the sampling steps to 30, and ensure that the width and height maintain the same ratio as the initial image provided to the control net canvas, which in our case is a 916 ratio. Then, click on Generate and Exercise Patience for a brief moment as the rendering process concludes. After the rendering is complete, we'll be presented with a grid image highlighting the comparison. 
Let's examine it closely. This comparison enables us to readily identify which checkpoint and sampling method best align with your requirements. I hope you find this tutorial beneficial and don't hesitate to share your preference for the cartoon checkpoint. Until the next video, take care.